What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kanzi Beat. I just want to welcome you guys to the episode 2 of the Melody yeah, 101 series I up. dropped on my channel. Oh. You know, uh, if you haven't watched the episode nice. 1, I really recommend, I highly recommend you should go uh, you watching the first episode I dropped. You know, it was really, you know, uh, a successful one. I really appreciate you guys for supporting uh, the first video. And then uh, I decided to make the second one. So uh, make sure to go check the first one out and then make sure to watch this. And uh, for today's video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a piano melody for Whiskey or Bonaboy and I'll make sure to try, I, you know, I'm going to try my best to break things down and you know, make everything simple for y'all to understand. Um, so make sure to watch till the end of this video because I'm going to show you guys the basic, you know, thing to do whenever you want to make a piano melody. So uh, I think uh, without wasting much time, we should just get to, oh, before I get to the beat making, if I forget, make sure to click that like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel because it really helps a lot. And make sure to turn on post notifications so you can get notified whenever I drop a new content on my channel. So without wasting much time, let's get to this video. So hey. guys, the first thing you need to do whenever you want to make a piano melody is, is to get a piano plugin. If you don't have a piano plugin, you know, uh, you can also use the FL keys, you know, if you don't have money to spend or you do not have a, a, a free piano plugin you can also use the FL keys you know it's a stock plugin it comes with every version of FL studio so you can also use that but for me I'm going to use uh, Nexus and then I'm using this uh, Nexus ground piano soft and the one thing I always do with my piano is I turn, I turn off the reverb uh, so it doesn't you know uh, uh, have that reverb in it whenever I'm using it and uh, today's BPM is 100 BPM so I'm just going to get to the melody uh, the first thing you need to do is you know lay down your your uh, your your bass notes the, you know the first chords of your melody you need to lay it down it's like the foundation of your melody so you need to get the foundation right so you know everything is you're just going to build up from there so i think i'm going to go with this and then uh, i'm going to stretch this out like this and then uh, i think i'll stretch it out like this And then let's do and then let's do like this. Then one more right here. And then you know from here you can start building your chord progression you know it's going to be easy for you so uh just do this okay, let's do uh, and then i'm just going to copy and paste everything and then at this part right here, I'm just gonna add one note right here, like this. Just gonna sound like this. And then uh, gonna strum it with Alt S, strum everything, and then randomize velocity with Alt R, accept it, and then take the velocity down. So whenever you take down the the, vo the velocity of your melody, it makes everything sound you know so cool. It makes everything sound so chill and calm. Wow. So uh, and I def I'm definitely gonna add another uh, instance of Nexus uh, to this uh, to the beat. So uh, I definitely want the piano to be like in the background of everything. I don't want it to be you know out there. You know just you know I don't want it to you know be too loud. So I just want it to be in the background. And then uh, I'm just gonna clone this. Then I think I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get block sound. What am I gonna get? I think I'm gonna use this. And then what I'll do is just copy this, paste it. Then it's gonna sound like this. What I'm gonna do with this is. Uh, I'm gonna invert the chords by taking the middle note up like this. And then put one over right here. And 
So guys, for the bass, I'm going to use the stock plugin, Direct Wave. Just go to your instruments and then go to whatever you want to use. I'm using the, the acoustic bass, and then I'm just going to do uh, the simple. You know, th this is one thing I always do. I follow the root notes of my melody. You know, just to make you know everything you know sound nice. And uh, believe me, there are no rules to making music. You know. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do but some things are just meant to sound really you know uh, you know sound really nice whenever they are in the right place so that's why i you know, mostly do the root notes of my melody so i'm going to start like this Alright then I'm gonna go to instruments, go to orchestra and then get the string section, get this, then I'll take the volume up a bit, then I'll just gonna uh, copy everything and then control B to paste it and then I'm also going to get the choir uh, get this and then I'll just copy everything from this and then paste it right here So uh, I got this guitar one shot. What I normally do with my one shot is I go over to uh, this envelope section, and then I bring the attack down, increase the hold, bring the decay to sustain, and the release down. So you know it sounds perfect. And then I'm just gonna do uh, this. Let's do one third step. So let's go. Is precise, then duplicate all of them, and then what I'm going to do is the, the notes are too short, so I'm going to increase the decay a little bit and then the sustain and the release. And then uh, I'm going to make some changes in this part. For the second part, um, I'll take this um, up like this. Then I'll bring this one down like this. Alright guys, it's time to move to the drums. I got this shaker, uh, the shaker loop, uh, which is this. this is the loop I'm going to be using for the shaker, and then uh, I've got all my my drum sounds ready. And then let's move to the rim shots. Uh, let's do changes back. <laughs> Then what I'm gonna do is 
take this up and then for uh, the conga And then for the kick, I'm just going to do uh, feel each four step, just the simple kick. And then I'm just going to make this. And then for the conga at the bongo, uh, let's do. Copy everything, paste it. And then this one, uh, this one also. Just gonna do. Uh, so guys, I'm done arranging the beats. I added, uh, you know, a bunch of effects to each sound. Uh, you know just to make everything sound you know unique and then for the guitar sound I, what I did was uh, I added parameter EQ took out a little bit of the lows of the low sorry and then took out uh, a small part of the high you know just give it that mid frequency and then I just make it subtle I don't want it to be you know loud and then I just want it to be a little bit quiet in the background and then I added footy reverb uh, put the stereo separation to uh, the left and then uh, I think that's all I did for the guitar sound to make it sound like this. And then for uh, the choir sound, what I did was uh, I added uh, this reverb plugin. And then uh, I add I use this the the, the stereo separations you know make it uh, to you know add some you know some uh, separation to the to the sound and then uh, I use uh, for the sec for the first uh, string I use uh, wider this is also a stereo separation plugin I just you know separate each sound individually to each part of your your headphones or your speaker to make it sound you know just widen the sound without the wider the sound is just in the middle but with with the wider on you know it makes it wide so for uh, the piano i use rc20 this is a great plugin if you can't afford to get this you can also get uh isotope vinyl it's a free plugin you can go check it out uh, download it and make sure to use that whenever you're making your beats but for this uh for me i use rc20 added this this noise and then added the space you know just make just like a reverb some you know it's like it's like a reverb yeah so it just makes everything spacey this is without the RC20 and this is with it so guys if I play the whole beat for you guys to so listen if you really enjoy watching this video you learned a thing or two from this make sure to go down there give this video a smashing thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because subscribing you know lets me know that there are people out there enjoying my content and then make sure to click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video that I'm dropping out in the future and then uh and if you have any more questions you can drop that down in the comment section or if you want if you have any video idea for me you can you know drop that in the comment section and i do my best to reply to everybody and then uh i think that'll be all for today guys catch you guys next time same channel same everything uh thank you guys for the support and for everything hey let's go Hey, you can't spice that shit up.